Over the last month, Notion released some simple but brilliant updates that will make your Notion second brain or productivity system very happy. The new status column offers welcome and more granular sort and filter functions to manage priorities and workflows. And even newer at the time of making this video is their new side peek view, a welcome way to set up the default viewing format for database pages. In this video, I'm gonna show you some simple ways I'm using those side peek options for databases to update my complete Notion system so that you can do the same. And if you own one of my productive or complete Notion templates, you can either copy this video to update your own or re-download the template using the original link you were sent to get it integrated. So, side peek. First, I was so happy to discover this and I think you will be too. Notion has given us options to specify how pages from databases appear when you click on them you're likely used to seeing them pop up as floating pop-up windows and then being able to click through to the full page if you want to. Now you can specify for specific database views which view you want. For example, you could set uh, the database to go directly to a full page. Plus there is now a new option, side peek, and it's super helpful. Look, I mean, I think that deserves a press of the old like button, doesn't it? So I'm now going to be setting side peak to be the default for things like my projects, my journal, uh, making the process of quickly adding and inputting information on the desktop much smoother. Here's how to set it up. To set the default, simply click through onto a database page that you want to work on and then select this screen icon on the top left. Clicking the options in the menu is a fast way to change the view in that moment, but it won't stay that way next time you return to it. Instead, you need to click on the option below to set the default into that menu, and there you can set whatever database view you want to happen when you click on the page. For side peak, you can drag the divider left and right to set the column widths as well. A nice touch depending on where there is more information that you want to be looking at, either on the database list or the pages themselves. So here are my quick fire suggestions for how I'm setting my system preferences in my complete Notion Life OS templates. So here's a quick example of how I'm adapting my dashboard. So currently, for example, if I add a new task, I'll have this pop up here and that's cool. But what I want to do is click on here, edit the default view and set it to side peak. And the reason that's great is now if I add one, I can just do it to the side, fill it in and close it and it's done. I think that's much cleaner. So if you own this system, I would suggest do doing that for things like uh, a daily log. So I'm just going to click on it, click on the thing, edit the view and change it to side peak. I'm also going to do it for knowledge and notes and contacts and content ideas. The one thing I'm not going to change is my new journal entry because it's a quick new journal entry on this page where when I click it, I actually quite like that it just pops up there and I can go back to it at a later point. For projects on the dashboard, I decided to set a 50-50 side peak view. The other really obvious place is in my this week view, I have a live projects view and the same over here in this live projects dropdown. I'm going to change these also to not be uh, pop up central windows and actually be edited to a side peak. Let's do that over here as well. Click on here, edit view default and change that to side peak. And now I can much more quickly jump in, take a look at the project and using these arrows back, go back to where I was. Now, interestingly, I was gonna go and change it in the, my weekly review where I can look at projects, but as you'll see, this has already adapted itself to be opening as a side view. And I think that's particularly good for going through reviewing uh, your work. And then for example, last review on my weekly review, I just change it to the last day that I did it. Let's say it was that one and it disappears from the list. So that's a much cleaner way of managing your system. Let me know what you make of it in the comments below. And if you're interested in improving or starting your own Notion system, do check out my Life OS and smaller Notion templates via the link in the description, uh, which I share through Gumroad. I think the other place to do it in my system, if you do it, is in the daily log and journaling uh, section over here. And even in the practices, you'll see that's already jumping up. Uh, like that. I think it's really exciting that they're automatically doing that to those views. 
For something like my journal, I've set the default to full page so I can jump straight in and do some focused writing. I think the reason that is really good is that when you want a journal, you want to go straight into there. I'm also going to set it as a full width page so that I've got really great working space to get it done. I've also set my content management database to default to full page views when you click on them because I personally always want a full page for scripting and working on projects uh, so I can see all the assets and focus on what I'm doing. Now if you follow someone like Tiago Forte's para method, Sidepeak could be a great option for an areas dashboard to review these parts of your organization system. I personally think that Sidepeak is a better option than the pop-up screen for most databases if you work on desktops a lot. It also allows you to more easily reference between page and database, and it's been particularly useful for my knowledge bank to review the quotes and snippets that I've gathered over the week and then link them into my other work. Because I think this is a really nice place to have a good side view, view of things. <laughs> There you go, it's already doing it. Well, I hope this is inspiring you to get stuck into some simple Notion updates of your own, and you can watch this video next for the best ways to manage your to-do lists and projects using Notion, or this one for a full-on tour, a very productive day in my life on my system. And for more great tech and ideas to simplify productivity and creative life, make sure to subscribe to Better Creating and turn those notifications on. Yeah, I'll see you later, bye.